a, a war are facing injustice and they will be victorious. Peace be on Gaza, peace be on Palestine, peace be on the shed, the bloodshed over there, peace be on the resistance in Palestine and in Lebanon. Today, Palestine is the key to dignity, Islamic dignity, humanitarian dignity. Mm, at the very beginning, Mr. President, it's my pleasure to thank the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for hosting this meeting, this 14th important meeting of the OIC, and it's very important at this particular time, at this very decisive time in the history of the region. And this extraordinary meeting is there for us to talk about the main topic now in the Arab and Islamic world, which is the Palestinian issue. This is the worst crime that has been witnessed by the people in history. The heroes of Gaza are there, and we need to take a, a decision to sort out the problem. And the entire Islamic world must be united, and through this unity, depending on Allah Almighty, the ability of Allah Almighty, we can sort out the problem. We also need to depend on the abilities and capabilities of the Islamic world in order to save and rescue the entire Islamic nations. This organization must play a right and important role in order to symbolize a moment of unity. Iran has understood this and the good neighboring policy is always adopted by Iran and we are opening our arms for friendship with the Islamic countries today and on behalf of the nation of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him we are meeting today in order to go and help and support the Palestinian people the Palestinian people is in need of our uh, help and support. Today the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not happy at all because of what's going on in Gaza and what's going on against the Palestinians. Today the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad, peace be upon him, is in is expecting a lot from the Islamic nations and from the Islamic leaders. You are my brothers in religion. Today is a day to work. Today is a historic day. We need to support the heroes, the heroes who defend Al-Aqsa Mosque. Today is a day, is a day to help and support the right against the wrong. This Zionist regime is the pharaoh of the moment. This Zionist regime is symbolizing the aim and goal of killing and, uh, and see the bloodshed all over the place. Demonstrations around the world are showing to everyone that the love of Palestine is everywhere, is all over the place. Today, we need to achieve that goal. And uh, we have seen during the last five weeks in Gaza, we have seen a lot. Uh, and this is symbolizing the brutality and uh, the violation to the international law. The heroes of Gaza are still there. The heroes of Gaza will always be there. They have done that through the last two decades. And uh, Gaza has been suffering from a blockade for around 20 years. It is the biggest prison in the world. It is the biggest prison in the world. And uh, the heroes of Gaza are still resisting, are still confronting. And despite the fact that they are not well equipped, God will support him. Allah will support him because they are patient. The Zionist regime has violated all the rules of the international law. 
the Zionist regime has attacked comprehensively the whole of Gaza Strip. Bombardment and shelling and targeting sporadically, the use of light bombs that are banned in order to increase the numbers of the victims. 11,000 civilians defenseless have lost their lives in Gaza, and still more than 3,000 persons are under the rubble. Most of the victims, most of the Israeli aggression are women and children. They are innocent women and children and civilians. Ambulances teams, medical teams, correspondents, journalists bombing the hospitals are all criminal, brutal crimes. And uh, this is uh, epidemics and sickness and disease are all over the place because of the blockade imposed by the Israeli Zionist regime. And we can ask, what are the sins of those people to die? What are the sins of those innocent to be killed and to be victimized? We will be one day asked, what are the crimes of the children? What are the sins? What are the crimes of the children? The story of Gaza is the story of a conflict between dignity and between meanness. We need to decide which line we will go with and which line we will support. They are the enemies, and uh, they are the enemies that are brutal, and they are trying to destroy the new generations. Dear leaders of Islamic nations, undoubtedly, the United States of America is the one who gave the orders to this, is the partner in these crimes. And no legitimacy for America that gives orders to the Zionist regime to continue these attacks. America prefers the Zionist regime. America prefers the Zionist regime at the expense of thousands of uh, children and women who are dealt in an, without mercy. America has supported the Zionist regime to commit all these crimes and all these brutality. And they consider this a self-defense. The Zionist regime is killing, bombing, shelling the Palestinians. And this is against all the rules and international laws. And the American, the American war uh, uh, marines and uh, aircraft carriers are there in the region in support of Israel as if they are uh, supporting the Zionist regime in its war against Gaza. Also, America is supporting Israel in the United Nations, vetoes the resolutions that uh, prevent the killing of Palestinians, but uh, the Americans have paved the way for Israel to kill more, to bombard more, and to shell more. And a lot of support is being given to Israel through different types of fatal weapons. The America is filling the stores of Israel with a lot of weapons. The America is giving Israel billions of dollars. America is supporting the war machine of Israel. And uh, they are doing all this for the sake of Israel against the Palestinians. Shipments of weapons have been sent to Israel on a daily basis. And the Zionist regime have sent what we can say almost seven atomic bombs on Gaza, on the Palestinians. This is a crime that is made by both America and Israel, and we need to follow everything in the international organizations 
The worst role played in this regard is the role of the United States of America. All the sins are committed and made by the United States of America. Look at what happened in Afghanistan and Iraq and Syria and other Arab con uh, Islamic countries. All these bad things are happening because of the United States of America. They keep the world occupied with these weapons deals and salt, a uh, uh, lot of deals and lot types of deals. And uh, dear Islamic countries, to today, we need to fight all the false tactics and the Israelis that are not fair at all hate the entire world and the world can see now clearly that this Zionist bloody regime within the Islamic world aims to nothing except controlling those dictators and uh, uh, controlling the un unfair and the unjust supporters. We need to make sure that everything is under America has failed and the resolutions are not supporting the people who need. We need, end of the day, to, as we said at the beginning, and in a dialogue within the Islamic leaders, we need to have this meeting. And we wish to have such a meeting one month ago, but it is there now. Yes, we are late, and I still hope that this meeting will result in a resolution that will be for the sake of the Palestinian people. This must be the first step. The first step is to reach a ceasefire, to stop killing the civilians in Gaza, to put an end to the sporadic attack against the civilians. We need not allow the Zionist regime and the supporters of the Zionist regime to uh, continue in this. We need to uh, stop anyone from killing the citizens, killing the civilians. We need to use every tool in our hands in order to force the Zionist regime to put an end to this aggression and to put an end to his effective war machine. We must understand that the resistance in Gaza are doing a great job. And without these resistance in Gaza, without those heroes in Gaza and in Lebanon, the Zionist regime will spread its aggression everywhere. And we might have seen some other countries and some other Islamic countries are facing the Israeli confrontation. So it's and no conditions must be there. No conditions must be there. We need to open the Rafah crossing. We need to continue our cooperation with the Egyptians. We need to allow the humanitarian relief and humanitarian aid to go to Gaza. We need also medical teams uh, to go to Gaza and to help. And we must uh, agree as leaders of Islamic countries, we must do our best in order to implement this, to find an executive delegation to, to, to do this. We need to send the relief and the aid and assistance to Gaza. We need to have humanitarian corridors in order to send the humanitarian relief to the Gaza and to the people of Gaza. We must ask and do our best for the military presence of Israel to leave Gaza. Gaza must go to the Palestinians. Gaza is the right of the Palestinians. And uh, those who are employed by America are not, uh, are not doing well to the case and to the cause. The Islamic countries must do their best, must be united, must share the belief that uh, we need to liberate all these occupied uh, territories and the diplomatic relations is not important. We need to cut 
diplomatic relations with the Zionist regime. The Islamic countries must do that. We need to boycott all the products of the Zionist regime, particularly when it comes to energy. The priority must be this one. And we need to support the popular movement to boycott the Israeli products and the Islamic countries has a role which is to consider the IDF as a terrorist organization. We must consider this a terrorist organization and an international court must be there in order to punish the commanders and the political leaders of the Zionist regime, even the Americans who are partners in the killing of our Palestinians in Gaza. Also, at the same time, we need to do something regarding the construction in uh, uh, Gaza Strip. And we need to send convoys that will carry humanitarian aid and relief to the Palestinian people in Gaza from all countries, particularly the Islamic countries. We need to name a day for the Zionist crimes. Bombarding the Baptist uh, hospital must be the day of crimes committed by the Israeli regime. And if the Zionist regime continues such crimes in this unequivalent war, the Islamic countries must do something for the Palestinian people. They need to understand that we are with them. These are the short-term and very quick solutions. The lasting solution is what mentioned by uh, uh, Khamenei, the uh, leader of the uh, Islamic Republic of Iran, and it was there registered in the United Nations, which is the Palestinian state from the sea to the river, based on the democratic principles in order for every Palestinian to have one voice to represent the Palestinian people, Muslim or Christian, no problem at all. We all support the Palestinian case and we need to stop this war. And during the last seven, last seven, last 70 years, we have seen a lot of atrocities and uh, they are all with no result, with no concrete result. The Zionist regime has deceived the people, uh, transferred the Palestinian people, sent them in a transfer movement, and uh, a lot of settlements have been built, and a military force was there in their territories, in the Palestinian territories. And the Zionist regime is the occupation regime, is not legal at all. And we need to put in mind that time is not for the sake of the Palestinians, is not for the sake of the legitimate rights of the Palestinians. 75 years has passed and the Zionist regime is the one who is committing racism and is the one who must leave our area, and on the other hand, we need to face strongly, we need to defend strongly, we need to do this sacred defense against our land, we need to resist the Zionist regime, and we need to increase the resistance, to support the resistance. We have seen the hero. تمثل أنه لا حل لنا لا حل لنا لطرد الاحتلال لذلك يجب علينا أن أن نقبل أيدي وأذرع المقاومة والحماس كما يجب علينا أن نسلم ونصلي ونحيي الشعب الغزة المقاوم يجب علي أن أؤكد أن الجمهورية الإسلامية الإيرانية تعترف المقاومة في غزة وتهجير القسري يراها إيران هو استمرار في جريمة الحرب وحماية مسجد الأقصى والأماكن I'd like to thank every country who supported Gaza 
and today the crimes of the occupation, the crime is a way, the crimes of Israel are a wake-up call to everyone. We need to be always, always with the Palestinians in Gaza, and uh, we at the same time need to know that the Israelis are the only entity in the world who doesn't consider the human life, who doesn't consider the human entity. And uh, every international organization must put this in mind. All the crimes have been committed and the world is witnessing and watching. And the Israelis are threatening to kill more of the Palestinians, not only that, but to use the nuclear weapon against the Palestinians. We have seen that, and we need to support and salute the Palestinian resistance that has achieved a lot of gains for the sake of the Palestinian cause, and uh, 75 years of occupation and domination, and uh, those people who are always supporting Israel all over the years must understand that. Peoples, Muslim peoples, consider this a shame. They see the blood of the brothers and sisters all over the place in Gaza, and they have seen they have seen other countries supporting and financing the fuel, the fuel that will kill uh, the Gazans, and uh, everyone must understand that the test of Allah Almighty will be always there. And if this meeting, the meeting of the Islamic nations, if it let the Palestinians down, and if it doesn't end up with a concrete resolution to defend Palestine, this will never be forgotten. And we must, as leaders of Islamic countries, Mr. President, at the end, I'd like to thank, thank the children in Gaza, the martyrs in Gaza, peace on the martyrs in Gaza, peace on the children in Gaza, peace on those who recite the Holy Quran in Gaza, peace on those who are defending their land. Peace on the children who are shaking because of the horror they have seen in Gaza. And today, through your presence, through your meeting, we would like to tell the people in Gaza that the most sophisticated armies and weapons in the world will never hit you. Peace be upon you, with your bodies, with your hands, you have defeated the brutality of the Zionist regime, and with your bright faces, with your bright faces, with traces of blood, with your parts of your bodies, with those people under the rubble, you all cry and we all say and we all shout, we are resilient. The resistance is for the resilient people in Gaza. You are the heroes of the resistance. We will never let you down. We will never let you down. Palestine will be victorious end of the day. They think it will take a long time, but we can see it with enhance. And peace be upon you all.